doing bars and painting people's vehicles, same as I always get up to, and uh, a film company for uh, Channel 4 approached me, this has been, oh, I can't think what year this was, but anyway, long and short is they were really up for doing footage of me, but the, the problem was they wanted me to go where I'd been working beforehand in previous years, you know, because that's because I travelled around the world and all the places and on the continent. And they wanted me to go back to where I'd been working. Unfortunately, uh, quite often the only people that can afford me are people that have lots of money. And in some of these places they have lots of money because of illicit means, so I obviously couldn't go back and show who my patrons have been. Hence I had to turn down the offer. They're going to spend three months basically flying me around, the, you know, around the place and doing footage, but I declined anyway. I ended up coming uh, back here to England and painting a helter skelter, which I heard about. I had the job. Word of mouth. I was actually in the Sahara Desert, and uh, and someone came up and told me a verbal message from a Miss Andy Hope who owns a circus. That someone wanted me to play health scout. I really wanted my work. And well, I delivered thought, you a verbal message. Well, it took, to it took me another month to get back to um, back to Spain, and I rang the man. and And believe it or not, the message had taken six weeks to get to me, and it was correct word for word, unlike a Chinese whisper. Normally, you think, no, that can't be real, it, it, but it was real. And I did. I came back. I spent three months painting that health scout. Or anyway, which the following season, you know, I love this. Blew down in a hurricane in Stoke on Trent. Who says they don't have a mirror? I'm <laughs> oh, serious. <laughs> There's a big picture frame there with half a bit on, right beside you. See with a picture frame with all the photographs in it? That is the hell that's got with well, half of it. Five different jobs at the same time. What's that? Keeping up with the jobs, I've got more work. I've got another frontage, an old frontage. It's, it's, it needs just tippling, but it's minutes work. But it's taken hours and hours and days to get round to it. Yeah. Same old story, isn't it? No, go on. Got skylights. What I'd really like is, is it blocking my light? No, I actually had to put curtains up because when the sun comes in, I turn around, it's so bright I can't see nothing. Cooks everything in here as well. Yeah. Needed a veranda so I could sit out there in my rocking chair in sea breaks. Jobby Carter for the Carter's um, Steam Fair. Yeah, what's that? He does uh, workshops at the weekends and he gives them a piece of wood board 
Yeah. And he shows them how to do laying of a letter out, gives them the right brush and says, there you go, write your own sign. And he charges them 300 quid for the weekend. <laughs> charges them 300 quid for doing what? <laughs> they got about 10 of them in a workshop. Yeah? Wait. All with their own bench in front of them, all with their own little leaning thing, and it gets them a board and they write whatever they want on it. Yeah. You know, they want to write their name or a house name or something. It's very concentrated work, isn't it? It's, yeah, it, it, tension. <laughs> it's back-breaking. It, 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 I find I only do, I have to do it in stages, literally. Yeah. You know, There's um, a lot of leaning over. I've got no choice in that. I've now started this. It's because I started, I've got to finish. So I, won't, I can't even stop when I finish this board. I've actually got to do all the white lining. Yeah. And then I can stop because otherwise I come back and the hand won't be doing the same thing. Yeah. The brush work does actually. The brush, the time I've sat down and gone away, I could have done it anyway. Yeah. Regardless of the backache. It's interesting me. The word paint has the word pain in it. <laughs> pain tea. <laughs> I've not quite worked that one out yet. Yeah, there's a certain amount of tension because obviously Oops, I'm losing control there. When it comes to talking, you see. You think the hand will remember on its own, it doesn't always. The brain tells it to do something else.